This is Twit. So there's a few things. First thing I want to recommend to everyone is that if you're serious about this stuff and you start buying it, um, you should get a separate email account for where you have all of your communications uh, related Why to this. Why is that? Well, if you think about it, the ways to unlock your account and to reset it are typically by email or a text message to your phone. And so if you have a Coinbase account, those emails are going to be sent to your primary email account. And a lot of people are going to know what your primary email right. is because you're using right. it to have conversations. So what I recommend doing Get a separate Gmail account. They're free. Yeah, go, they're free. Create something obscure so no don't one's going to guess it. Don't make it Kevin Rose at gmail.com. Right, or Leo's Crypto at yeah, Gmail. Yeah, that's even better, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, enable their uh, extra enhanced security. Okay. So that requires one of these guys here. These are different hardware keys. This one slides into a USB. This one is Bluetooth here. These, these are also crypto-based. These, right. these are basically uh, key validations. I have a YubiKey. And a, and a Bluetooth-based ones, they, they require you have one Bluetooth for phones like iPhones that don't right. support uh, a USB port um, or NFC. Yeah, so they, they'll have, uh, Google will actually recommend you these three. These yep. are the three that I bought via yeah. Google. And then you enable that on your account. Now, you have to have this. If you lose it, it's going to be a lot harder to get into your account. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that will secure your email account. So that's but like, that's good. You want it to be hard. That's yeah. going to be hard for and the bad And you can do guy. this even if you're not in a cryptocurrency, right? Yeah, like but you it, just, it, yeah. If it's you're paranoid, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, second thing is... Um, this is two-factor plus. That's this right. Is, this is even stronger than just two-factor. Right, which is just like a text to your phone yeah, or something For like most that. people, two-factor is sufficient. But if you're, if you're storing millions of dollars in Bitcoin, you, you want to make it right. hard to get. So the next thing is um, software-based wallets. So this is a, an example of one that I like called Jax. And the reason I like this wallet is because it supports so many different coins. Yeah, so, so my Bitcoin wallet only supports Bitcoin. That's right. So you can go in here and say wallets, oh, and then look at all these different coins that you can enable here. Okay. So you can say, uh, I have some Augur here. Some of these are actually tokens and not is this, real currencies. Ja is Jax Mac only or Mac Windows? Uh, I believe Windows as well. Okay. Um, so Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin. You just enable them, and then you can switch between them at the top here. So you can say, how many ETH do I have? Obviously, this is just a, t a test account, so there's not going to be any And that in here. QR code you see there is something you can give to people? Yeah, so this is your address. Right That's here. how they send you money. Right, so you can just copy it right there. So I just copied it to the Got clipboard. It. You can see and I can text it to them there. and say, send me money. Right, exactly. And if you have their number, you press that send button, you can send them. You hit send, you put in their points. address right there. Yeah. Let's say that's a dummy address. You type in how many ETH. I want to send them four ETH and then hit send and it goes right over to them. Now one thing I noticed is there's a transaction cost for all of these. That's right. And it's variable. The more you pay, the faster, at least on Bitcoin, the faster the transaction happens. That's right. Um. <laughs> so, but here's the thing that's interesting about this though. Uh, when you set up this wallet for the first time, there is one um, set of different words that they give you to restore this wallet. Oh. So you have to write down those those words. You have to store them in something it's a like backup code. last pass, one password, Got things it. like that. Uh, an alternative to I that. I wish I had used that wallet. That would have check this out. What's so this? This is called Crypto Steel. <laughs> So you put your hysterical. words. Yeah, this is not a digital wallet. No, this is you slide that's those your passphrase. Those, that's your passphrase, and you slide those in one at a time. And you, this is just a dummy phrase. You can't try this at home. You're not going to get anything out of it. But you slide them in, and then you keep that in a safety deposit box you or anything you want. You seal it up. You, you screw can put a lock down. on there. Now, if somebody got this, that would be this is that's this right. Is, this is something to remember with these. If somebody gets this, right. They've got your wallet. They've got your. This coin. is like holding cash in your hand. It's basically. like yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone took this and they put it in a. Um, they they created this big uh, fire pit, and they put it in, and they let it sit in there for like thirty minutes, no problem. They threw it off a balcony that wow. was like ten stories high, no problem. So that see it's, again, it's, it's pretty see, hardcore. If Leo had put his passphrase into this, I would be you know seventy thousand dollars richer right now. You gotta remember the passphrase. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> So that's, okay, that's, so that's what's that called? Yeah, this is called Crypto Steel. Crypto and it's steel. not cheap. This is like $150 or somewhere around there. Um, you could also write it on a piece of paper and put it in a safe but, deposit box. Right. So if people that have it on a piece of paper, obviously, if there's a flood, okay. there's things like that, you know, that, that okay. kind of goes away. There it is. Okay. How much How much is the price now? I think they raised the price. $199? Wow. Yeah, $199. But it is, it's kind of a neat artifact. It's pretty cool. This is the kind of thing uh, Axe would have in billions. Exactly. You know, on Billions the other night, a guy did, a, did him a favor and he handed him a USB stick. He said, here's a stick, there's a million on it. 
in Bitcoin. He never gave him the passphrase, though. That's right. So you need the passphrase. You need the passphrase. Um, one but step. But you could do that, right? I could give you a USB device with a Bitcoin wallet on it. Oh, this right here. That's this? What, that's what this. That's what these are right here. That's this. What, this is the stick. Yeah. So that's a Ledger hardware wallet, and this is a, a Trezor hardware wallet. And if you take a look, I can I can show oh, you what it looks like when they light. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So. Um, so this Why has does this soft... have a screen? What's the screen so for? So the, the screen is for getting your PIN and, and putting your PIN in as well to unlock it. So all of your private keys are encrypted and stored on this device. And okay. it also has a unique phrase. So if it gets damaged or smashed, you, have you can a buy a new one and code. restore it with okay. that unique phrase. Okay. Um, and then you can take a look at all the different currencies that this supports. So, so the reason you would carry this around is so that I could like uh, have dinner with you and then sh give... Like show you my QR code? Is that on here? Well, no. Actually, I think What's it does. This for? Well, it encrypts everything on this little device, so it gets yeah. it off of your computer. So many people are worried about their computer becoming if compromised your computer because gets they're hacked. connected to the internet. Yeah. And so this is actually you unplug it from USB. There's no internet connectivity. Got everything it. is stored on there. You throw it in your own home personal vault or wherever you like. Uh, you know, safety deposit box. And so if you look at the software right here, this is the Trezor software. It's plugged in via USB. And then here are all the different coins that it supports. Uh, so you can say, I have some Litecoin, whatever it may be, switch over here. And it's talking to the USB device. Now, now look at the, hold up the USB now device. Now I have to enter in my magic pin. Yeah, so if you look at the, the USB, so in that, that's the, uh, it randomizes the arrangement of characters. Oh, wow. So, so I know my pin. So you couldn't even figure out what the, where the fingerprint juice was. Right, so. Um, How do I enter it? Uh, so you do it on the desktop. So look at the desktop oh. now. So now I just now I do the arrangement. I think oh. it was this one here. Oh, so was I the last get it. One? So on the desktop you're just getting dots. On the key you're getting where the keys are. Exactly. And you blew it. Yeah, I did. Let yeah. me see here. You're hold on, hold on. One million dollars down the tube. What's cool about these there is you call them wallets, but there's really nothing in them except these digits, these these numbers. Oh, I guess I lost the pin. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting it up as a dummy account, but you get the idea. Yeah, there's nothing in it but um, the hard hardware keys, and they're all encrypted on that device right, as well. Right. So the one but you're right. So sometimes I see people put their Bitcoin wallet or their crypto wallet on their phone. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, your phone can get stolen, and yeah. someone, if they can unlock it, they can get access to your... That's why I used it. a really long, strong password known to no one, even me. <laughs> That's right. So you're safe. I'm safe. No one's ever you stealing your steal coins. steal my wallet. Because um, uh, I keep my wallet on my NAS... And it syncs automatically to all my devices. That's, that would be bad if I didn't have a password. Right. Although, yeah. as you pointed out, there are brute force software that, since they have the wallet, yeah, they I can hammer do on it. I, I would keep it on, it on one of these hardware devices, yeah. get it off your computer. The one thing I will say that I like about this Ledger device, um, it's very similar to the Trezor. Um, if you take a look at the screen and we scan out here, um, these are all the different wallets it supports, and there's a, a lot of different currencies here. So it'll support Ripples, it'll support um, the, what did you want to buy earlier? You wanted to buy Stellar, Stellar right? Lumens. Yeah, Stellar's on here as well. Is it? Let's see here. Um, yep, Stellar, right there, it supports Stellar. So if you start buying a few of these different currencies, the more obscure ones, you have to make sure that you buy a hardware wallet that supports it. My son is convinced that he can make money arbitraging <laughs> between exchanges yeah that's being done a lot <laughs> is it is it, I mean, is it possible to make uh, i guess you could write software i feel like though one of the things that does happen is that every transaction alters the price almost right, instantly right especially the volume's low yeah yeah because so even maybe not so much for bitcoin but any other right. coin there you, it's gonna well, be hard and the exchanges take a cut for every transaction right. as well so you have to beat that so if he's doing that that means he probably has a number of different currencies right this is the kind of device that he right. would use then in one last honorable mention it's it's one of the most popular it's called metamask and metamask is another software wallet but it's only for the ethereum network but it supports ethereum and all of the tokens underneath ethereum so you know how there's like hundreds of tokens other currencies that are actually Ethereum-based. So are those the ICO tokens? Uh, a lot of them are ICO tokens, okay. that's right. Okay. So if you... So like Telegram, it wanted to raise money, so they sold they close, so close to a billion dollars worth of tokens. Right. Uh, I don't know, 
uh, it's not like a stock. Is it like a stock? Is it, or is it? Does it have value? What are these tokens? No, worth? they have value. Eventually, some of them want to convert to their own currencies, right. and it's a way but to sell them now. But for now, they're using now. Ethereum exactly. because that's established. Exactly. So you know, you can go down the list here and take a look. And the best way to check, for example, zero X. Let's click on that. What is that? Is that a coin? Is it? And you'll see here. It'll say. Uh, token somewhere on this right here on this page. See that little flag that says token? Yeah. That's how you know this is an actual token and not its own standalone currency. Got it. So if you wanted to add 0x, you would go into MetaMask and then you could go under here under tokens tab here on the right and say add a token and that's where you would put in 0x here. Oh, that's and then important you can receive 0x. That. Yeah. That's important to be able to do that as right. well. Yeah. Uh, we should point out that all of this is highly speculative. I was yeah. Warren Buffett, who is probably the smartest investor in the world, does not buy uh, cryptocurrencies. He said, because I don't, I don't buy gold either. Those are what we call speculative investments, mm -hmm. where the only value is what people will pay for them. And there's no rational way to figure that out ahead of time. Whereas if you buy a stock, if you buy Apple stock, you know it's a well-run company with a good sure. brand name. And that Warren's very good at figuring out what those companies are. He says, I, don't, I can't figure out what Bitcoin is or or you know any other crypto yeah most people I talk to in this world they say you know it truly is invest what you can lose or at least lose like three quarters of it right so if you, you stick with that you're gonna be your, okay send me your Bitcoin it'll be safe in my wallet you need to create a new wallet <laughs> Because if they send you the Bitcoin from your old tweet, was it a tweet or where was it that you started? It was on the out? website for a long time. Oh, you know, man. remember you could donate and uh, that we had PayPal and other, and I had a, a big QR code. This for happened Bitcoin. to Fifty Cent, by the way. Did you know this? No. The rapper. Yeah. Yeah. So Fifty Cent accepted um, album sales for some of his albums. It's pronounced Fifty Cents. I just no. It's it's cent. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was like, did I get it's it actually, wrong? It's actually Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. Yeah. So <laughs> with he accepted uh, payments for his album in Bitcoin. Forgot that he had it, <sighs> but uh, you know he remembered his password. He did remember. Yeah. So he had. Like he probably 10, had ten millions. Mi ten million dollars. Oh I think is what it was. my god. Uh, so well, you're, now you're like, he, admits like he didn't have cent, any. Basically. He's bankrupt? 50 Cent is bankrupt? No, he's back in now, now that he got his he's Bitcoin. He's down to his last 50 cents. <laughs> so he, no, it said in there, he no, admits he never had any Bitcoin. No. He was, Did the whole thing out? was a scam. No. Did he say something bigger than that? Oh, well, he's hiding it. Of course he never had any Bitcoin. It's in the Cayman Islands like any sensible yeah. Bitcoin. Or maybe in, it's not in the Cayman Islands. This. It's on, it's on one of these secure <laughs> ledgers. these things in a safety deposit box. This is fascinating. Um, and it's I'm glad crazy, to talk wild. to somebody who understands this because it really is kind of crazy. It's scary. It's scary. Uh, and it's interesting. And I do think that there are, and this is the other thing Warren Buffett said, a lot of scammers oh, yeah. trying to take advantage of people. Especially so, the, all these ICOs. You don't know where they're coming yeah. from, who's behind them. Well, we, we know that a couple of, there was a big ICO out of, uh, I think, Thailand where they disappeared. Oh, yeah. They took all the money and they're gone. It's called, uh, it's called the exit scam. That's happened a ton of times. Yeah. Don't yeah. Be, be careful. Be really careful. But nevertheless, if you if you do have some Bitcoin or legitimate cryptocurrency, it would probably be a good idea to store it Lock securely. It down. How much is the ledger? I think I might get this. What was the this ledger? The ledger was 75, I believe. <sighs> That's who's making money. You know who made money in the gold rush? Shovels. Levi's, yeah. Shovels and denim. Se 79 euros. 79 euros. Well, it's got to be Oh, good. one thing. Be careful when you buy these. I think they fixed the problem, but there was when they were, people were selling them on eBay. Oh. And they would go and they would include these instructions saying you don't need to, here's the pin, but they had the original <laughs> passphrase. Here's the pin. So they would Use wait. Use my pin. They would wait till people transferred their funds in and then restore it on another device and steal the cryptocurrency. So buy it directly from the manufacturer. There's holograms now. There's seals now. Just make sure you're doing it the right. The Model T. I didn't know they had a Model T. There's a new one. Yeah. It's well. It's a little more expensive. It's 139 euros. Look at that. Yeah. It's evolved. That's the Rolls Royce. Yeah. The Rolls Royce of, <laughs> of <laughs> cryptocurrency wallets.